What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we got a bunch of stuff in the mail. We got lots of big tins, we got small tins, we got round tins, we got a bunch of um, burning shadow packs just so we can continue, got a lot of ammo for that hunt for that rainbow rare Charizard. And today we are going to be opening the new tag team tins uh, that have um, Snorlax Eevee, uh, Pikachu Zekrom, and Celebi Venusaur and we're gonna start with the Snorlax one and I'll kind of give you my thoughts I'll do a, like a little mini review of this product considering what packs are inside the promo itself and kind of what it might do to the value of the cards um, and one the thing I'm actually most interested in is figure out how useful this box is uh, compared to other tins it's a different shape and it's a significantly bigger which which could be good however my biggest gripe with these tins um, is one thing it's not that good for storing is Pokemon cards which boggles my mind if anything I think that's like the his shape should uh, cater directly towards that and that always confused me um, so let's get into it and I'll give you my thoughts about this product All right, let's get into this box. So one thing to hit right off the bat is I think it's really good that it's nice that, you know, it comes with these tag team cards. However, the timing I find very peculiar or kind of, let's put it as interesting because, you know, so tag team came out and, and so like they did have the collection box that had the Magikarp Warlord. And then I think, I feel like a lot of people bought a lot of packs to hunt these new tag team cards and then boom they're they're just readily available in these tins and I'm curious what that kind of does to the value of the various cards especially like the competitive ones like the Pikachu Zekrom I'm curious what that'll do to the price point there and they're like the um the the interesting arts too so here we have the Snorlax Eevee and well I think it's great that this card I can get this card like this I almost feel like it's too easy like they're making it taking all the um not the excitement away but the challenge from getting some of these cards and so this does come with a code card and i'm I think it says it you get some deck um and it does, ooh, this thing is super metallic super super high quality uh even though like at this point i have a billion of these um but that's really nice and then for the packs we have two team up nice forbidden light and then a random evolutions uh, and we'll come back to the tin just to talk about like its shape and how useful the box is All right, let me grab a sleeve for This card Yeah, so I feel like it has a very good promo inside but I kind of have mixed feelings about what that might do to the value of the cards All right, so let's go in reverse order as usual. So start with evolutions and then work our way back to team up. All right, pack number one. We got a Charizard Spirit Link. Maybe that's a sign. Ooh, DCE, very nice. Machoke, ooh, I do see, wow, something shiny. And it looks like there's some texture there too, star you. So we got a good hit, guys. Fairy energy, Voltorb, Tangela, right off. Whoa. Charizard Spear Link plus the Charmander. Boom! Oh, <laughs> I thought it was it. I thought it was the Mega Charizard. But we did get the Mega Pidget. So, very nice hit. So far, this tin is a grand slam. Wow. Very nice start. All right, let's keep it going in Forbidden Light. Four for this one. All right, let's see. Water Energy, Ultra Recon Squad, Diggers B. We got a Fossil Excavation Map, Noibat, Pancham, Esper, Execute, Scatterbug, a Gudra. Gudra is a very strange uh, species in my opinion. And then a Feramosa Hollow. Not bad, not bad. Although, not crazy whenever they kind of like reuse the art. Alright, on to team up. Ooh, this pack was actually very easy to open. Com contrary to... Oh, come on. Contrary to all the other packs I've been working with. 
Actually, I feel like team up. That's how I was supposed to do the code card. So I'm not sure what happened there. Pokemon communication. Unless it's a new print run. Ammonite, Ponyard, Alolan Geodude, Mankey, the Clay Pancham, Pharaoh Seed, Hone Edge, just a regular sword reverse, and then a Kabutops with its fossilized memory. Although this one needs to be active Pokemon, so I think the Almasar one is significantly better. And let's move on to our last pack of Team Up. Oh, there we go. That's the. Oh no, these are definitely easier to. Oh, come on. Keep spoiling the. What we, what we're, what we have. Hint, guys. I think we have something. <laughs> Although that means this this is quite a good tin. Definitely really happy that I decided to start with this one. All right, we got a Weedle, Joltik Blitzel, Paris, Vullaby. Reverse Dratini, and for our last pack in this booster box, or tin, excuse me, we have ooh, Hoopa Full Art. I think this is our, not our first Hoopa Full Art, but man, what a fire tin. So we got a Mega Pidget, a Hoopa GX, and then the Eevee Snorlax alternate art. Really nice. And let's do a pack of Sun and Moon. And again, I just kind of restocked on even more Burning Shadows packs so we can continue to do this for a while. See if we can't find that Rainbow Rare Charizard. As far as modern cards go, this is by far the most sought after one. And most expensive by a large margin. We got Acerola, a Gloom, a Viper, Venipede, Sneasel. Alolan Vulpix, very cute. Horsey, Noibat, Stuffle, and then a Azumarill. So nothing there. All right, so we do have a bunch of cards here. Let's see how if they can go in nicely into our new tin. All right, so a kind of a cool shape tin although until you start trying to put cards in it uh, I'm not really sure what the what the best way to do it is I don't know like why, why couldn't they make this so it conveniently stores tin like that's my you know one thing I like about elite trainer boxes is you can use it to store cards very easily it's like the perfect shape uh, whether they're not sleeved or sleeved it's it's fine and these tins is just completely opposite like I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have a bunch of them stacked up like what do you guys do with them uh honestly i i do put some like bulk cards in there but then like you're kind of i don't know there's just very awkward to to when you fill it up and so there's not too much movement and they're just all these different weird angles so if you do have something uh a better way to handle these let me know in a comment below because i'm honestly very curious so um, definitely a very good opening, but I do want to give everyone a reminder that we are wrapping up our giveaway tomorrow for the, let's grab real quick, Ultra Shiny GX Booster Pack, as well as a Rishi Ram Charizard from the Double Blaze set. Uh, so if you haven't entered already, go check in the channel to find those two videos and make sure you're entered. Uh, we're also probably going to do a giveaway on uh, on our Instagram very soon. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, uh, or if you don't have Instagram, just quickly make an account and uh, make sure you're following me at I Want a Turtle. There's a link down below, and to yeah, we'll probably do a giveaway through there as well. So with all that being said, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Definitely a very good opening today, uh, and a lot of cool openings, uh, different kind of tins and different products to come in the near future. Other than that, guys, I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.